We are about to welcome to the show a female boxing champion. She's got 36 professional victories as a boxer. She's in the 135 pound to 145 pound weight division. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the global boxing union world lightweight champion. I'm talking about the WBA world lightweight champ. The WBA super welterweight champ. We're talking about boxing champion Layla McCarter. Layla, thank you for joining us on the show. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. This is Aaron True, joined by also Jonathan King and Adrian Gallegos. You know, uh, a great day for female combat sports. Ronda Rousey graces the cover of Rings of Ring Magazine. As a female boxer who's had over 50 pro fights over 18 years, are you happy to see someone who's never in, been in a boxing match before grace the cover of Ring Magazine? Uh, absolutely not. You know, I think uh, Ring Magazine is traditionally a boxing magazine. I mean, I know they covered wrestling in the early days, but, um, you know, it's a boxing magazine, and... Uh, I think MMA has enough exposure. Ronda Rousey has enough magazines to grace the cover of without, you know, I mean, there's so many deserving female fighters, boxers, that could easily be on the cover of Ring Magazine. So, yeah, I, I think it's insulting, really. Wow. Well, that's what we wanted was a boxer's opinion. Um, you know, Ronda, she's, she's dropping her sparring partners with body shots. She, you know, she's knocking out professional boxers in sparring. Uh do you would you have the guts to go in there and throw down with Ronda Rousey? Do you think you that what would you think? Well, would happen? I'd like to know what professional boxer is ever going to drop by Ronda Rousey in sparring. I'd like to know a name. I I don't have. Uh, do you know Do you know who? I I think that's baloney. I I don't think that that ever happened or ever would happen. You know, um, and would I have the guts to any day? Any day she wanted to have a boxing lesson, I give her one. You know, um, this is what I do for a living. I'm not going to go challenge her in MMA. She kicked my butt. You know, she grabbed my arm and break it probably. So, you know, I know my limitations and I know what I'm good at. And boxing is my my sport. So, um, you know, if she ever wants to cross over, which would be a dumb thing for her to do, but if she ever did, you know, uh, I would knock her out. It's plain and simple. Well, geez, that's that's cr that's pretty uh, bold statement. What is the difference between MMA boxing and just regular straight up boxing. Is there a difference if that makes sense? Oh, it's a big difference. Absolutely a big difference. I mean, as far as, you know, what we've trained for years to do, it's strictly boxing, you know, and uh, it's definitely a different art. Uh, it's something that takes years to develop your craft and to, to become an expert at what you do. And Rhonda's done that in Jiu Jitsu and MMA. I have massive respect for her and what she does. She's awesome, you know, as an MMA fighter. But her striking is just basically, uh, as any other MMA fighter, um, isn't at the level of a, a boxer. That's what I'm saying. It's a different different sport. Do you think it might have been more appropriate if they had Holly Holm on the cover? Because she actually... Absolutely, yeah. 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 Okay, and who, who do you... I, I mean, it's MMA, so it's obviously not the same thing, but who do you think was going to win in the MMA fight between Ronda and Holly? And then who do you think would win in a boxing match between Ronda and uh, Holly? Well, you know, um, it is MMA, so Ronda's the dominant force there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give Holly Holm credit. Uh, I mean, in a fight with her, I think she's fighting her in her own game. So, you know, Ronda all day, it might be an easy fight for Ronda. Um, now, if they're boxing, I'd have to give the edge to Holly, although I never really gave her a lot of credit as a boxer either. So, um, but I think she's had more experience in boxing, and she's done more in boxing, so I'd have to give Holly the edge in a boxing fight, for sure. Hey, Layla, it's Jonathan here. That was a great lead-in there to my question. A lot of people have Thanks. criticized Holly's credentials in the boxing world, me, myself, uh, I, I've looked at her titles, and I don't recognize many of them. Do you consider her a legitimate boxing champion? Um, I think I'd have to consider her a legitimate boxing champion. Would I consider her at my level? No. She's not at my level, and she never fought anybody outside of Albuquerque that she did well with. Um, when she stepped outside of Albuquerque, she got a draw or got beat. She never... Uh, you know, and she got knocked out big time by the French girl and Sophie Mathis. Um, I don't know. I've never been knocked out. I've never been knocked down, and it won't happen. 
So, you That's know, incredible. Holly Holm. In 50 pro fights, you've never been knocked down. That's amazing. That's awesome. Never. Never. Won't happen. I, I, you know, I mean, I can't say it'll never happen. It can happen to anybody. But, you know, uh, Holm is just, you know, she fought in all her fights in Albuquerque. I've always been a road warrior. So I give a lot of credit to people who go on the road and fight everybody. But I don't blame her for staying in her hometown. She's got a hometown promoter, and she always, you know, did well there. But I, let's see what happens when you take your show on the road. That's a different thing entirely. Now, you also fought uh, Jessica Ricosi. I believe you lost a, a tough defi- decision to her. She transferred over to sure. mixed martial arts, and, and you know, I, I got to say, her striking, it, it, it didn't really impress me in the mixed martial arts world. In, granted, she did transfer over late in her career, and she was kind sure. of she was thirty eight, I think, when she came over. Why do you think it didn't go well for her? Um, you know, there's a lot of factors. Uh, uh, you know, when I fought Jessica was in two thousand two, I believe. Yeah, you know, we were young. Oh wow, and, was that uh, long ago? Yeah, and I'm sorry about my co-host bringing up. The, you know, we have a guest yeah, that's on okay. No, that was a toughest. She fought I, a toughest. Jessica know, was, was like thirty three and thir- three. Thirteen, dude. thirteen years ago, you're going to hold a decision against her from thirteen years ago. No, Jessica Ricosi is <laughs> like one of the best female no, boxers okay. that ever lived, bro. She's like a legend. Mm. I know, but I reached out. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. But but she was uh, she was undefeated, and I fought on their promotion, and I lost the decision. I you know can't take anything away from her. It was kind of an off night that I had, but. Um, you know, I give her the credit. It's six rounds. You know, it's hard to judge a six round fight. People. That's true. Um, you know. And also, can go either way. Speaking of judging a six round fight, that actually has nothing to do with that. But you, it just has to do with looking at your record, though. So you actually have fought and won belts at one thirty five and the one forty five, one forty seven range. So this is. Um, I've held belts from one twenty six. Actually, my first title was in the featherweight uh, in the IFBA. I had the featherweight title when I was 21. I was the youngest champion ever at that time. Wow. And then I won the 135, 140. Actually, I jumped to the 140, then I came back to 135, and I went up to 154 from there. Okay, so it's safe so, to say, pound for pound, you're a champion female boxer. And right absolutely. now, this, the big controversy, I don't know if you follow MMA, is that the, there's a, the two top women are basically are Chris Cyborg and Ronda Rousey. And Ronda, right. and they're refusing you know, to meet at a certain weight. What do you think about that, considering you fought from 125 all the way up to 150-ish? Uh, do you think that that's an excuse? I, yes, I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know the circumstances of why. Um, I know there's also an uh, issue with the uh, drugs or whatever that she came up dirty. Um, but for me, I don't give a crap what they weigh. You know, if they're heavyweights, it doesn't matter unless they hit you. So for boxing... Um, I, maybe it's a different thing, you know, because it's striking. Um, and I, I always think if I'm not getting hit, no problem. But in MMA, you're in constant contact, maybe grappling. I don't know the difference. But, you know, if you're a fighter, you fight anybody, and I don't care what they weigh. You know, if you're a real champion, you just go for it. I don't care. You know, and that's only like one weight class is up, isn't it? Or yeah. two? It's only ten, it's, it's yeah. 10 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a 10 pound difference. Question. You know, I was a lightweight champion. I moved up to the 154 pound class just to fight. I was never 154 pounds, and I knocked her out in South Africa. So, you know, um, you go where the fights are if you're if you're a true champion. Exactly. But a pound for pound, great. I agree. Yeah. Question. Growing up, I, yeah, I think she should get it on. I think she should uh, go for it. You know, Ronda's very good at what she does. She shouldn't worry about it. I think she's a very good fighter, from what I've seen. You know. Not that I'm a, a great expert at MMA, but... She is incredible. Yeah, you know, I think she's, she's pretty good. She's I'd amazing. like to see her against somebody who can give her competition, though. Right, Question: Growing up, I I grew up a, a huge boxing fan, and, and one of my favorites as a child was was Sugar Ray Leonard. Who, as a female mm-hmm. fighter, who did you grow up watching? I'm curious to know who was your inspiration as a fighter. Uh, all my fighters, uh, all, all the people I looked up to were guy fighters. You know, really. Um, of course, Sugar Ray Leonard and Duran and Hagler and Hearns and all the, all those guys in that era. Salvador Sanchez, especially who loves Cesar Chavez. I would really like to fight like him. Yeah. Um, but, you know, all those guys inspired me because they came to fight and they all fought, you know, the best fought the best. And it was a great era of boxing. I mean, we haven't seen an era like that since. Um, well, yeah. Yeah, Leela, uh, keep continuing back onto the topic of you. Uh, thank you for answering those questions about uh, the MMA stuff, Ronda and Hall and Ring Magazine. But we want to hear and learn Absolutely. more. About, 
we want to hear and learn more about you. Uh, you're on a several fight win streak. Are you and you fought somewhat recently within the last year or so? Are you still actively mm-hmm. competing? And are we going to see you soon? We actually this I made an ass of myself and it was an amateur fight, but we both fought at the Orleans in the last few years. <laughs> okay. But uh, but the point is. Oh, at the same show. No, no, no. It wasn't the same show, but just at the hotel in Vegas, the Orleans Casino. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fought there many times in my career, and I was the main event there for two, three years. Nice. When Frank Luca and Crown Boxing was there. Yeah. Well, where can yep. people find? Uh, where can people find you? Where are you training? Are you and are you still actively taking fights? Because, like I said, you're on a several. Uh, uh, I'm Wednesday. actively t- uh, looking for good opportunities, but you know we always take fights now that make sense. And um, you know I fought everybody and done everything. I've made my mark and. You know, the only thing left for me is to really make money. And, um, you know, I'm not willing to take fights for peanuts and make no sense, you know, in other countries. You know, if there's no money in it to be made, then, you know, I'll stay home. It's okay. But, um, you know, they pay me the right money and I'll go over there and embarrass them. That's, that's just where I'm at. Nice. And um, actually, have you you yeah. have kickboxing and martial arts background. You've done not only boxing, you've had kickboxing matches. You know, it's I do, never I do. say never. You know, are you uh-huh. willing to cross over into MMA? I don't think so. Unless there was one mega fight where they want to pay me a lot of money to come over and, you know, try my hand with Ronda Rousey or somebody. Well, but you know, I like, really think... Like a James yeah, Tony, it's, like it's, a James Tony versus... Sport. Like James Tony versus Katora, would you, so you would fight a super fight versus Rousey? Absolutely, if the money was right. But it'd be embarrassing, I think, to, to, to uh, disgrace their sport by coming over thinking I'm going to do something in MMA, you know, just like I think an MMA fighter coming over to boxing is just silly. Um, so, you know, if they're willing to pay for it, fine, I'll go for it, you know, but eventually, chances are she's going to shoot, take me down, grab my arm, and, you know, hey, um, I'm realistic, you know. I-, I could catch her with a good punch, something could happen, but, you know, MMA is what they do, and boxing is what I do. All right, well, Layla, I think it's safe to say, or actually, uh, yeah, I have host one, has one last question. Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you. I have one question. If if you were an elite, no, no problem. If you were an elite level athlete, like I'm talking fucking top of the line athlete, and you were 20 years old, you decided to devote yourself to boxing. You had never boxed as a kid. You decided to. You walked into say Freddie Roach's gym, and and, and he said, "All right, I'm going to coach you, but you have to bust your ass every single day." How many years uh-huh. do you think it would take? At twenty years for, for twenty years old, when do you think you would be able to be a competitive professional boxer? As an at elite a top athlete, level, you yeah, mean, or yeah just, as an elite athlete, how long do you think the learning curve would be for an elite athlete? It's pretty tough, you know. Even to start at twenty is kind of starting a little late, you know. I think, but if you're already athletic and you're already doing a lot of sports, it's possible. It depends, you know. Everybody's different. Um, everybody learns at a different rate, and the main thing is having the ability to learn. You know, not everybody has that where they can just, you know, listen to the trainer and, and, and you know, conceive the art themselves. Um, I think it just it depends on the individual, but at the best case scenario, maybe 10 years. Wow. Um, they could get to where they're, you know, decent. Wow. I think. All right, well. It takes a long time. You know, I started when I was like 15 in boxing, you know, and uh, I was in martial arts before that, as you said, and kickboxing and all that thing. Since I was eight years old, um, I've been doing some form of, you know, uh, I guess martial arts. Nice. So, you know, and and experience is everything. I really believe that, that that is the best teacher. All right, Layla. Well, I think it's safe to say that we have quickly become big fans of yours here at the Brutally Honest Show after getting to know you just now during this interview. And I'm hoping you fight Thank again you. soon because we want to root for you and cheer you on. Uh, it was great to get to know you. Thank and you. hopefully uh, we can get you some exposure well, and vice versa and you can get another fight and, you know, give us a shout out during the fight and, you know, say, hey, this is for you guys definitely. and knock someone out. Definitely. Yeah. Please follow me on Facebook if you want to know what's going on with my page, Layla Mafarda. And, uh, you know, uh, we're looking to do a big fight with Cecilia Brackett very soon. She's the Unified Welterweight Champion, and that's the only fight that really makes sense right now. But, you know, for it to happen, the switch goes need to pay some money and, um, you know, give women what they're worth. And and that's what all the promoters really need to do at this point. And again, you know, uh, and I'm just not willing to take less at this point. So, and where's that? 
And we have up on the screen your info as well for people who aren't watching. It's at Layla McCarter, so you can get a hold of her there as well. And Layla, I think Excellent. That... And Twitter, Instagram, it's all Layla McCarter, so it's pretty easy to find me. I'm probably the only Layla McCarter there. Well, I hit up three different so. people, and they're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. So I don't. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> female boxing champion and new friend of the Bruliana Show, Layla McCarter. Thank you, Layla. Thank you, Thank you for much. your time. Thank Have you. a good day.